righty, guys. Real quick, let's jump right into it. Ain't no sense wasting time. Guys, I'm back in my favorite form. As you know, I hang out over here from time to time. Uh, simply helping people out and going over some of the topics that is uh, being discussed. All right, as you can see from the, uh, uh, the this clip right here, a guy having a problem with his Chrysler 300. All right, his statement or his comment is, guys, I need some help. Uh, so I was just at the gas station filling up my 06. It's an 06 model, 300C, and I made it down about maybe a block. And now my car idles weird and then just dies. When it dies, the only light that turns on is the oil light. All right, first off, guys, uh, you will get such a light, uh, such as the oil light. If your car stall out, that means your key is still in the run position. Okay, that's not a bad thing, okay? Anytime your key in the run position, your oil pressure sensor uh, basically just telling your cluster that there's no oil pressure. There's no oil pressure because your car is not running. So don't panic from that standpoint. Now, let's read some of these comments. Okay, Lee, less curve. Uh, quite possibly, you wound up getting diesel instead of gas when you fueled up. I've had it happen before to me. Uh, no, guys. Um, it depends. That is a chance. Okay, I'm not saying less wrong. Okay, that's highly. That's a damn good possibility. But from my understanding, uh, and it's not all gas station, the nozzle that fits into the diesel will not fit into the gasoline models. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know about that one, okay? But it's still a possibility. Uh, yeah, somebody, Raymond, just, just mentioned that. That's not possible to do. The diesel holes do not fit in a gas car, but gas fit in a diesel car. In other words, you can go the other way, okay? Reread this comment, please. I don't know how much more simple it could be written out. Slow down. Comprehend. Okay, he getting smart with it. I don't know. This happened to four of our work trucks all at the same time. Not one truck made it out of eyesight of the station. Plus side, uh, we got the day off. <laughs> okay, so he uh, he on some uh, foolery. Uh, it's a big difference between a truck and a car. All right, now, all this is pretty much uh, diesel arguments. Okay, Raymond. Ah, I see. I'm not. Okay, he's not good at English. Joseph, I had a similar incident. Uh, it turned out to be a failing fuel pump. And clog fuel filter. Wow, clog fuel filter. Uh, what vehicles out there still have external fuel filters on them anymore? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, the filters on the fuel pump. Uh, it could be clogged. Okay. Uh, need an oil change. It's a warning. My 05 does it. Okay. Or overkill with gas. Now, yes, guys. True. Uh, depending on what your engine is equipped with, such as VVT. All this new stuff on new today's modern engine require the proper level of oil to work right. And if your engine is equipped with a lot of variable valve timing and a lot of accessories, if you low on oil, you could stall out. But this complaint is he put he filled it up with fuel and now he's starting to stall out. So that's likely not his problem. The gas tank on many 300S have service replacement because of vapor lock. OK, now we're on to something. Call your local car dealer for a check on it and maybe a replacement at no cost to you. It's not considered a recall, though. And he's exactly right. It is not a recall. Uh, now, you would think, I, I'm not sure what's the technical name for it, but you got to go in and complain about it. And uh, when they find out and determine that the fuel tank is your problem, it will semi-result to being a recall. It's tricky wording, guys. They don't want to... They don't want the public to panic and everybody start bringing their 06 model cars in. We talked about that with my buddy 69 Dartman. I think he was in his 06. Uh, so I can't go on record to telling everybody out there with this model vehicle, go in and get you a few gas, a free gas tank. Yeah, I can get in trouble doing that. So I'm not going to. But it's not a recall. You got to have a problem and they got to, de to determine if that's your problem. All right. Check your battery in the trunk. Uh, make sure it didn't get loose. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how battery going to magically get loose. But, okay, these are coming from general the general public, not not technically, mechanically inclined people, okay? Could be a candidate for the warranty gas tank replacement. That's what is more likely caused. Uh, extended warranty gas tank replacement, not so much uh, a recall, okay? Now, the thing with that is, guys... Uh, some of those models, the rollover valve built on the tank. Y'all know what a rollover valve is, right? In the event your car is in an accident and you roll over, 
Okay, that valve supposedly, technically, will not allow fuel to still be running. ASD is the same way, automatic shutdown relay. Any event, your engine do not see RPM. Just say you crash, okay, and your car roll over or whatever. Uh, if the engine's not running anymore, the automatic shutdown relay will automatically shut down your fuel and ignition system. That's a safety uh, procedure put in place, guys. So... Now, the rollover valve on these tanks in question, uh, they tend to leak. If you oversaturate your fuel tank, y'all know how some of y'all go to the tank and y'all pumping gas, y'all just keep clicking, click, click. Oh, it can take more. Click, click. Oh, just, just one more dollar. Click. Let me round it off to the nearest 20. Click, click. Yeah, you basically ruining your tank, okay? So some of these technically shouldn't be warranty. Some of these that you need to educate the customer. But in the event this is your problem, what happens is liquid fuel would make its way up to your purge valve. From there, when your PCM activates your purge valve, okay, it will pull those liquid vapors or liquid fuel from your charcoal or canister and it will make its way into your intake. From there, your car will stall. So if you're having this issue, that's exactly what's going on. Okay, the, the EVAP system is doing its job, but instead of pulling vapors from your canister which is what it's supposed to do it is pulling liquid fuel from your canister now the problem in lies how the hell did liquid fuel get in your canister that's why guys because your fuel tank rollover valve has likely failed or either likely been overfilled with fuel and fail it doesn't matter the reason why but if you're getting liquid fuel to your intake manifold uh that's why you're stalling out and what a coincidence it happened right after you filled it up so yes that's why they that is one of the prerequisite or that is one of the comments or complaints they look for does you stall out after you put gas in your tank if they customers say yes then yeah we know we got a problem uh from that aspect so that's when we go check your vm uh run your vm find out if you own the database for the fuel tank not recall, but the fuel tank extended warranty. This is this is the catcher, guys. It's so extended that it's lifetime warranty. Now, the thing about it, uh, not many 06 models out there anymore, so they're not having a rash of vehicles coming in to get this replacement. But I just want to touch base with you on that. If you happen to own an 06 model, okay, your car stalling out after you fill it up with gas, there's a chance that you could be uh, one of the uh, candidates for a new fuel tank gas tank whatever you want to call it okay go and get it now think about it they're gonna have to order it guys uh, a lot of shops not setting up storing uh, a bunch of fuel tanks okay so that's just a heads up from your boy jt your chrysler buddy guys i'm gonna be hanging out in this forum all week long all right create more videos so i need y'all to comment and subscribe all right that's all i have man thanks for watching comment subscribe if you're not already i'll see y'all in the next video